I'd like to introduce you to some of the key features in Radiant. Radiant is an interface for business analytics in R, and it's built on the Shiny package. So if you have a recent version of RStudio available, and you've installed Radiant, and by the way, there's a separate video on how to install Radiant on both Mac and on Windows, uh, you just click Radiant, and it'll start the application in a browser. It's a browser-based interface, and an advantage of that is that it works the same way in uh, different operating systems, so Mac, Windows, Linux. There are a number of different data sets bundled with the application. So let's choose examples, and we're, by the way, on the Data Manage tab. Load examples, and let's choose the direct marketing data set. It's an application for business analytics, and so most of the examples are in this business domain. So we can do various different things with uh, the data. We can start with just looking at the data in a table format. We can sort that on one or more variables. We can apply a filter. For example, amount spent is larger than $500. And so we now are just, just looking at those observations where amount spent is above 500. Uh, we can also create some visualizations Suppose I want to do a histogram. Now you notice that as soon as I select a variable, a histogram is created. And by the way, only for those observations where amount spent is over 500. As soon as I select another variable, we see a new plot. Okay. This is because it's a Shiny app, and Shiny allows very interactive applications to be developed. I can select multiple variables and get multiple different plots. Now there's a variety of different types of plots. I can do scatter plots, density plots, box plots, and so on. Um, in addition, there's a, 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 there's a large number of different features, but I don't, don't want to go into those here. Get pivot tables, create summary statistics, transform and clean the data, uh, merge or combine the data, uh, a variety of different, uh, different analyses. And let's, let's just do as an example, uh, let's estimate a, a linear regression. So I'm just going to select a few variables and hit estimate. And let's also look at some various inflation factors. And let's also make a plot of residual diagnostics. All right. Now, as you can tell, let's add a line. This is not a particularly good model. The model doesn't fit the data very well at all. But let's say we want to write a report about that. So a nice feature in Radiant is that it has uh, different abilities in terms of reproducible research. So if you click here on this icon on the bottom left, it'll take us to the R report tab. And in this report tab, I can edit and type text. For example, regression results. We find that, and so on. I can type whatever I want. And then here is the, the code that Radiant uses internally to generate the output you saw in the interface. Right? So all the output you saw here is now reproduced in code form. And so if I want to see what that looks like, I just click the Knit Report tab, and here's the, here are the regression results we saw earlier. Right? So an exact reproduction. Now, the best way to store and share your analysis, the settings, the plots, uh, the reports, and so on, is to save the state of the application. Right? So I just click on this floppy disk icon and then Save State. And I'll save this to a file that has all the different components in it, the report, the analysis, and so on. To give you uh, an idea of how this would work, because I could open this up later and then continue working on it, uh, let me open up a, a new session. And what I'm going to do in this new session, I'm going to load a previously saved state. And so I'm in the Data Manage tab, click State, and then I'm going to use Radiant State. And as soon as this opens, it'll take me back to the tab I was last on, so when I saved the state last time, which apparently was the Visualize tab. And in fact, I, there were some settings there. I'd chosen to make a scatter plot with price and carrot selected. Uh, there was a, some faceting, and a, a color variable was specified. Now, all of that has been saved. Uh, some settings in the View tab, specific variables I was looking at that were sorted. There's also some analysis that I did in terms of compare means. And there's a report that was generated. Okay. So this is all the, all the work that I had done previously. Save that to a file. Now I load this back up into Radiant, and the complete state is restored. 
Now I can save this as an HTML file, I can save it again to state and, and make some changes and, and share it with somebody else, uh, but I can also save it to other formats, uh, for example a PDF or a Word file. Now let's try the Word file. All right, so it'll take a second as it's converting. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and save that. All right, so it's downloaded. You might want to set your browser so that it doesn't move everything to the downloads folder, but that you can actually choose where you want to put it. A bit more convenient. And so here's our Word document with the analyses that were done previously in the state file. All right, so I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the different features inside Radiant. Uh, it's not the case that you have to do everything inside Radiant. You can actually also choose to paste some of the commands to R. So remember, we started this from R Studio. So suppose I want to take that uh, comparison of means and report that not to the R report tab, but directly to R Studio. So if I click on this report icon, then if you saw this in the top right, it said putting commands into R Studio. So let's go to R Studio. And you notice that the commands that uh, Radiant uses internally to generate the output are now been put into an R code document. All right, so that's a quick introduction to some of the key, key features of Radiant. Um, thanks.